YouTube welcome back to Lena Monet so I'm coming to you with an unboxing kind of uh, it's definitely not a first impression so I did open it up yesterday when I received the box I got my purse from fashion file um, so it is already open like I said I looked at it but I repacked it so you can see how it does come um, I was in the market for a Louis Vuitton speedy 30 bandolier and I wanted to save some money on it and I didn't want to pay full price but I also wanted everything to come with it so I was looking for a box the strap the lock the key and the dust bag um, I was able to find it actually I was about to give up and stop looking but I looked out I went online like mm, on the 18th that's when I made my payment so May 18th and I received my box actually yesterday which was May 26 so um, I had to go pick it up I actually saved over $220 on the bag so that was exciting so yeah you see here. all this came in it so I think it's really festive and really cool it's kind of like a party in a box so I like that came with a fashion file an actual nail file from the fashion file Woo. okay a thank you card this says fashion file on the back a little heart the next thing is I got this this has my receipt and everything in it I didn't open it so hey this will be an unboxing so this is just my receipt um, Buying Fashion File Certified. This is my receipt. Louis Vuitton, Demiere Bean, Speedy, Bandelier. I'm just using the natural lighting that's coming in through my window. Um, I really like this bag. Um, well, even now, when I looked at it, it said the condition was excellent. And the problems that was wrong with it was the exterior had creases and the uh, hardware had faint scratches. Um, I was also looking for a bag that was 2015 and up because I wanted a inside zipper pocket. I did not want uh, the little pouch. I did want a zipper on it and I really looked out. This is a 2017 at that. Um, rogue red interior. That means it looks like it's brand new. We want this bag back. Cash for your bag. Um, what else is in here? Shop, sell, repeat. What a cute little envelope. Super cute. I hope. Then we have this. I must say, like in all the videos that I've watched, um, the box looks such enormous. But in reality, and, and then underneath it, it's just more stuffing cushion for the box. So here it is. So it's 2017, so I did get this box, and it was a brand, you know, the newer version, so it's the newer box, which I thought was really cool. And it's magnetic there. You open it, it comes in a fashion file bag. Their dust bag. Put it to the side for a minute. The strap. So it comes with the three connection pieces to it, and it's matte. It feels so buttery. It's really nice. It came with the Louis Vuitton key. They said it came with the keys and the lock. Um, I'm gonna open that up in a minute. But I was really, really surprised because it came with the actual like box, like it originally comes in. So they Christmas saved everything. Um, oh wow, look, I didn't know this was in here. The actual Louis Vuitton little papers. They kept everything. Wow. It's really cool. It's like little tabby. This just pulls those out and I'm not doing that because I'm keeping my box intact. Here is the Louis Vuitton dust bag. Cotton. Really nice. No, for the bag. Because I wanted to wear this bag today. So I'm like, let me do this. And it did. It came packaged like it does when you actually buy it. So I wanted the experience of buying my first Louis Vuitton bag, real Louis Vuitton bag, um, without the price tag. Okay, 
Okay, it does say on here, remove this tag, you own the bag. Once this tag has been removed, this item is yours. No, really. This item may not be returned without this tag attached. And fashion file, certificate of authenticity. Sorry if it's not focusing. But yeah, these straps are so buttery. Because a lot of the things that I found on the fashion file website they were like oh the straps have been worn and scratches and I actually saw one of these little things here it was popped off like they were selling it with the popped off so Louis Vuitton definitely keeps its retail because it was still a thousand some dollars um but yeah the bandolier because I'm not a person that holds my bag like this all the time but I thought this was a great bag that if I do want to I can and then it's got the two zippers. Again, this is a 2017, so it's last year. It's like beautiful. The inside has the red interior. It has the little D-ring. And it has the zipper I wanted on the inside. So there's no coating in here. It's just the fabric all throughout. The date code is right there. Well, you can see. Oh, there a little bit. I'll tell you what it says. SD means it was made in the United States. And it's the date code is 3117, which um, I forgot how you tell. I think it's the 31st week, which means it was made in July. And then the one and the seven... I can't remember what those mean. But I don't know. My birthday's in March. So I look at it like, ooh, March. <laughs> but I really love this bag. You know, the creases that it's talking about, I don't even see anything wrong with it. Um, I did see the faint scratches, but I'm like, really? You know, I feel like that type of damage I'm going to do to, you know, I'm going to do that damage anyway. I didn't want a bag that had odor inside because there was list bags with odors inside. Um, I didn't want any zippers missing. I didn't want any ink inside of my bag. Um, but I'm gonna come back with like a purse collection. I buy a lot of Michael Kors bags mostly, so. But, um, yeah, this is canvas, but it does. It feels so buttery. It feels like leather, you know? It feels really, really nice. Um, oh, yeah, let me show you the keys. So, yeah, it came in this little duck bag super duper cute box the lock it's a little bit tarnished but for the ooh, for the most part I think it looks really good and the keys um, another cool thing is that you actually don't pay tax you have to pay tax if you live in like California or I think it was Utah it said, but I live in Ohio. So whatever the price of the bag was, that's how much I paid. I did not have to pay tax and it was free shipping. So I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to get my bag off of here because if I couldn't find the box, the dust bag and everything that I wanted to come with it, I was going to break down and just buy it from the store. But uh, if I could save me some coins, I'm going to save me some coins. So, yeah, I just want to come to you guys with my somewhat unboxing to show you my bag. Here goes the straps. It says Louis Vuitton on it. Sorry if it's not coming up. It's too reflective. It's blinding. But, um... Yeah, I'm like, I want to wear this bag today. So I'm like, let me just do this unboxing. Because I'm not about to keep that big box. I am keeping my Louis Vuitton box. I'm keeping everything. Probably put the lock on the bag. And even though the strap is not all the way let out, I can wear this as a crossbody. I'm only like 5'4", so I'm short. And I'm going to buy a um, base shaper. Just the base. I don't want the whole interior thing that people buy to keep it organized. Cause I'm just not that kind of person person but again yeah everything is there the zipper is smooth you know they said there was like only two issues with it nothing was wrong with the interior it just looks 
brand spanking new to me. Smells good inside. There's some more lighting coming so I can show you. Yeah, there goes a little zipper. Just everything's great. So yeah, I just wanted to come with quickly with that little quick little unboxing and just to show you my bag. So look, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, make suggestions if you'd like, and bye YouTube.